yourself. Yeah. If you're gonna be a hater, at least hate for some real reason. Harley Davidson's don't have the horsepower. They're not fast. No, they're not fast. And so that brings me to the point here in part two where I will share with you the differences between cruiser riders and sport bike riders. Now if you look at the monikers given these two types of motorcycles, it should be immediately apparent that the motivation for choosing to ride this particular bike are juxtaposed. You have a sport bike versus a cruiser. Now a cruiser would be a hobby. Now there's all kinds of hobbies. But a hobby is not a sport. So you get where I'm starting to go with this, right? In a sport, there is one thing that is important, and that is competition. You are competing against someone or something in this sport. So how do you compete in sport biking? Obviously, sport bikes are agile and fast. And so the primary motivation for owning a sport bike is not for transportation, and it's not as a hobby, it is to compete. Now whether you're competing with yourself or others, it's still competition and that's why sport bike riders look at cruisers with disdain they can't understand why anybody would choose to ride a cruiser now to me it's obvious they are a thousand times more comfortable to ride in any circumstance in any situation than a sport bike I'm sitting here living the life of Riley, relaxing in my recliner. Why would I want to hump over and stoop over for any length of time in an uncomfortable position, relatively uncomfortable position, during my hobby. I mean, if I guess if your hobby was laying on a bed of nails uh, or other some masochistic hobby, then maybe buying a sport bike would, would be the thing that you were looking for as a hobbyist. But otherwise, you're, you're looking for something to go fast and faster and more agile, which again is ultimately a, a speed issue. So I can take the corners faster. And this is reflected in in the riding styles of the YouTube motor vloggers that own the sport bikes. You know, it's all about getting the knee down. Learning to get the knee down. Taking the twisties, getting your lines. You know, these are important things in riding a motorcycle. But the ultimate rea reality is in this that 
it's not nearly as important if you're not constantly pushing your limits uh, and that's really what a sport bike does is it inspires you to push your limits on the bike and that is ultimately dangerous because at some point you are going to reach your limits and that's why uh, you know that's why these riders are out there crashing uh, one or two or three or four bikes in the first couple of years that they're riding the motorcycle on YouTube.